everything. All right, guys. So we are back in the calculator, JavaScript calculator from Free Code Camp or jQuery calculator. That's how we did it. Uh, so this video, we're going to be doing the styling. We're going to make it look a little bit cleaner, a little more professional, so that um, we can kind of showcase it off. It's easier to work with sometimes when you do it like that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change these um, these fonts. They're they're kind of ugly and generic. So we're, uh, I went over and used Google's API fonts. And we're just going to go ahead and import our font into the top of here, like so. And we are importing Oswald and Prompt. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the CSS. This is where we're going to be making the bulk of the changes. Uh, well, first off, uh, what I did was I just kind of changed the background and the uh, of the HTML and the body to uh, black. So this is just a, a preference thing. Definitely do whatever you prefer. Um, this. I don't really do too much styling. I more I more enjoy the the uh, JavaScript aspect of it. Uh, the styling is just kind of a, a for funsies thing, if that makes sense. Uh, the next thing, because we change everything to black, we want to go ahead and change our H1 tag or our our title essentially to uh, white, so that we can see it a little bit cleaner. And then we're also gonna go ahead and change the font family that we imported to Oswald. So font family, because this is an imported font and not a default one in the browser, we need to put it in the quotations like so. So that looks a little cleaner. And then we're gonna go ahead and target our H2 tag as well. And this is going to just same thing. We're gonna change the color of it. And we're going to go ahead and um, set that to white. We're also going to go ahead and change the font family to prompt. I personally think when you have like a heading and subheading, it always looks a little bit better when you are when it's uh, different different fonts instead of the same thing uh, but that's just a preference so we have this so far it's looking a little cleaner now calc output that is this zero in this line so we uh, this is we're gonna have a lot of stuff going on here let's see if we can uh, set it up first I'll try to do it in order that makes sense so we have our calc output because it's a ID we're using the hashtag dots are for the classes the first thing that we want to do is set a background color so we can see exactly where it is so we're gonna set background color equal to white and we're also going to need to set a height and a width of this or else it's not going to display properly so we're gonna go ahead and do uh, height I did 75 pixels oops excuse me let me make sure my HTML is targeting correctly calc oops see right here this is a class, we need to do an ID, which is why it, it didn't display properly. I thought it should have displayed. So you'll see right here, uh, if you watch my first video, make sure you make uh, make that change. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a width of 250 pixels. Now this will be the same as in the calculator aspect, so keep that in mind that if you're gonna change this at all as you're doing your own code, that it may be off a little bit. So then we have this height of 75 px. You can see the, the line right here now, pretty cool. So the next thing that we want to do is add a little bit of spacing on the top and curve these corners a little bit. So the way that you curve a single corner is you do border-radius, excuse me, border dash, uh, what, what, if you want to do top or bottom, and then if you want to do left or right, so we'll do the, the left one first, and then we're going to put it at 2M, let's just, so it may be a little hard to see right there, uh, then we're going to have a borders top dash right dash radius, dash radius, excuse me, that's why we couldn't see it, there we go, so there's our curved corner, now it doesn't change the total area of the div, but it changes the um, the border. It changes the what it looks like, what's visible. So we're gonna do the same thing to the top right corner as well. It's just a little bit of styling at the end of the day. And then uh, because we want this to be in the center, we're gonna do margin dash right auto, and then margin dash left auto. There is that. So we're getting there. And then there's a little bit of, this is a little too close for my liking. So we're gonna go ahead and say, look, margin dash top, and we'll put 20 pixels, give us a little bit of spacing. And then we'll do padding dash top. This is for our output. It's a little too close to the top, so we're gonna do another 20 pixels for there. You'll see our O drops down to somewhere in the middle. So this is our top part of the calculator. 
A um, lot of little things going on here. Um, but uh, all right, let's go ahead and jump into our calculator div. Let me check to make sure I didn't put that as a class. No, I didn't. Very good. So we have our little top of the calculator. Now let's go ahead and define the bottom part. Again, we're gonna be using a hashtag because it's an ID that we're targeting. <coughs> we're gonna set a background color and we're gonna do background dash color and we're just use a default one gray. I try to keep everything as simple as possible. Definitely uh, take the time to make things as creative as you can. Uh, so we have, we're gonna do the same width that we did above with 250 PX. And then we're going to set the height. Oh, excuse me, the height we're going to leave alone because we're going to set it auto. But uh, we're going to do some padding. Our buttons are like right up on it. So we'll do padding dash top 20 pixels. And then I did padding uh, dash bottom 30 pixels. 30 px. The reason I did a little bit more there is because uh, we're going to curve the bottom corners and it looked a little funky if I remember correctly. So similar to how we did the, the curved corners on the top, we're going to do it for the bottom now. And we're going to do border dash bottom dash left dash radius and we're going to do 2m. And then we're going to do bo border dash bottom dash right dash radius and the same thing 2m. And then we want it to be centered with everything as well. So we're going to do margin dash right auto and then margin dash left auto. So our styling for this is coming along. It's not quite perfect yet. The next thing that we want to do is go ahead and edit this output. So it's a little more, it looks a little cleaner than what we're trying to do so that uh, it's not so small. So we called that steps. Uh, again, we're using a hashtag because of the uh, it being ID. And we're going to just go ahead and, and shoot it out from the left a little bit. So we're going to do padding dash left 50px. So you'll see it's right there a little a little better. And we're going to do a font dash size 2m. We just want it to be a little bit bigger. So there's that. A little bit easier to see. Now, if you remember correctly, we said that we wanted these buttons to be a little bit bigger. I kind of guesstimated at what I would want this to be. Uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and do the actual buttons first. So we're going to all these are anchor tags, so we can just go ahead and target these uh, like so. And we'll go ahead and say margin. And we're going to give this about five pixels, put a little bit of a space in between everything. We want everything to look nice and neat. And then we're going to set a width here equal to 2.6 of the view window. This is just kind of like an auto formatting so that everything looks similar. Um, if you need to know more about this, like I just learned about this recently, I definitely suggest checking out W3 schools. <clears throat> so you'll see right here. These are these are looking very nice and clean. And so finally, uh, we want our big button class. And because this is a class, we're using a dot, big button, like so. We're going to go ahead and just give these some widths that I defined of 93 pixels. And there we go. So everything's looking pretty, pretty clean so far. Why is that so big in here? Hmm. Oh, it's a little bit off. So... Oh, it's because of uh, we're zoomed in. Yeah, so that's that's one of the things you're gonna you're gonna see is sometimes when you're zoomed in, it's gonna mess everything up. So we're trying to keep everything as clean as possible. Uh, all right, so this is our CSS and our HTML. So I hope you guys found this helpful. In the next video, we'll be diving into the jQuery and the JavaScript so that we can see the logic to get everything to work properly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and support me on Patreon. Thank you to those of you that do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and support me on Patreon. And if you're looking for additional video material to supplement your learning, go ahead and check out Team Treehouse. And if you're a recent graduate or a current college student looking for part-time work, full-time work, or internships, check out wayup.com. As always, I'll see you guys next time.